We have chips that uh, generate uh, uh, three and a half volt capacitive discharges in dark RF shielded enclosures. Uh, and then we have chips that now exhibit steady state current uh, and voltage over long periods of time. Uh, and so we are working to we are working to improve performance such that we have chips, you know, about the size of your pinky nail, uh, five millimeter by five millimeter that uh, generate um, one and a half volts and 25 microamps. And so, mm. you know, you might think, golly, that's that's not a lot of power. Well, the the beauty of the last 10, 15 years is that uh, the low power electronics market has exploded. And so there are tons and tons and tons of applications for us to, to, to go after uh, with a chip like that. So with that kind of power level, we can run uh, a tire pressure monitor system, uh, a, a glucose monitor, a remote control, a key fob, an Apple AirTag, um, Internet of Things device, uh, all photophoretic displays on grocery stores, NFCs on your credit card, um, RFID. I could just continue to go on. There's 